Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody out there. If you are watching, I trust you are safe and you are happy and healthy. And um, you are obviously taking care of yourself and your loved ones. And if you do not have any loved ones out there, then point number three of these five things that will reduce your impact negatively your immune system you may need to you may need to listen to so in light of everything that's been going on and you've seen some of my other posts some of you that have that are watching my material um, relating to the coronavirus or COVID-19 whatever you want to call it all right or whatever they call it now I'm not sure but um, I'm trying to keep up to speed with things but more more on the more on the side of how we can switch things around for ourselves rather than all the information that's being bombarded with us on a daily basis um, relating to all the negative stuff that the COVID-19 is having on our lives. So I thought it would be probably um, relevant, pretty relevant to share five, five factors that can reduce your immune system. All right. And the first one is listening to all the news about the coronavirus and COVID-19 and all the other bad stuff that is going on in our in our world around us. All right. Admittingly, it is relevant. It is current. And I understand that people want to keep abreast of what's going on, keep up to date. However, I'm of, I'm of the belief that we do not need to watch the news. The news will find us if it's important enough for us to know about it. And, um, you know, if you're constantly watching the news, if you're constantly reading the media, what that's doing is it's, it's having a negative impact on your immune system because you're constantly feeding yourself with all this negative news and very often confusing news as well because one person says this, another person says that, and one doctor, you know, um, promotes this type of method or another doctor promotes that type of method. And I'm not saying that they're all blah, blah, or you, know, you need to discount all of them, but some of them are very real and some of them are very um, effective and relevant. However, a lot of the stuff that's out there is really not. It's not worth our time, it's not worth our energy, and it's not worth impacting our immune system because if you just constantly bombard your mind with that, what's going to happen is you're going to have, start having all these negative thoughts around it. And then on top of that, you're just going to just... It'll be a cascading effect and our immune system will be depleted as a result of that. All right, so that's the first one, folks. Take note of that, please. Try to stay away from the news. If you need to find information for yourself around the, the coronavirus or COVID-19, then just go out and do some research for yourself. But don't just watch and listen and read everything that's coming in your way. Coming your way. Okay, don't just be a passive, um, a passive passenger on this journey, all right? Be actively searching for the, the real the truth the real answers to what's actually going on okay and go to the professionals look look from sources of from professionals don't just listen don't listen to the media because the media don't know what they're talking about and 90 percent of the time the doctors that are, are are talking through the media are being paid by the media so they're not really giving you all the all the details that you need to hear all right so um and the media's purpose in all honesty is fear all right they want to hype it and they want to create the fear. So just be careful of this, please. All right. This, the next thing that can reduce your immune system is what many people probably will not think about is nicotine. So now nicotine, what it does is it will it will dull or numb your your um, your nerve endings. All right, and your receptors in the body, and it therefore will have again another cascading effect on your immune system. So if you are if you are a smoker or if you smoke e-cigarettes, which is probably even worse, because there's a lot of evidence out there about popcorn lung and how, what what an impact that e-cigarettes have on our lungs. But even normal cigarettes also have a negative impact on our lungs as well. So it's just it's not just e-cigarettes. So just be very very careful about smoking and being at home on your own if you are on your own or if you're with people or whatever. But being isolated right now at the moment. You might have it more of a tendency to be smoking a lot because you're bored. So just be careful of that. Um, if you And I understand if you are a smoker, it's not easy to give up. I, I understand. I know that. I've never been a smoker myself, 
but I do know that people that are smokers, it's it's nigh impossible for the majority to stop smoking. So just please be conscious, be aware, be responsible for your own health as well as the health of the people around you. Just remember, passive smoking is more dangerous than active smoking. So if you are a smoker of cigarettes or e-cigarettes, all right, the people that are around you are going to be more impacted because there's no filter. So especially if they're in close proximity to you, there's no filter from the cigarette that you're smoking that is, uh, that is blocking many of the carcinogens. That's coming out through the front and that's going to, people are going to be inhaling that and that's going to be impacting their lungs a lot more potentially than you okay, as an active smoker. So just be aware of that as well. So it's not just about yourself too. So the next thing, uh, the next point that I want to touch on as well is, is, um, is, being on your own. So if you are lonely or if you if you are isolated at the moment and you are not around other people, you know, find things for yourself to do. I, I understand it it can be very taxing on 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 your uh, mental capacity, you know, you start to have these thoughts going through your head, especially if you're watching the media a lot, and especially if you are a smoker, find find things to do. Get start getting creative with yourself. Now, even if you are with other people, like family members and, and things like that at home, isolated, get creative with things to do so to keep you active and occupied, all right? Uh, but most, most importantly, if you are on your own, just try to reach out to people, phone somebody. I had a friend of mine who's in Saudi Arabia, a very close friend of mine. He's pretty much on his own at the moment. He's just arrived in Saudi Arabia. He's isolated for the most part. And I know he phoned me because he was bored and, and whatnot. And he, but he, you know, I appreciate the fact that he did phone me. So if, if, if you are on your own, phone people, you know, get on the phone, get on the phone and, and just chat till the cows come home with, with people as if you, if you need to, you know, um, get onto social media and interact actively interact with people don't just be a passive interactor with pe- with what's being fed to you on social media all right um, but find other creative things that you can do offline as well that will keep you engaged and keep you distracted from smoking keep you distracted from being on your own so um, please yeah if you need to reach out to me if you know me and you're on your own at home and you know me personally all right and you're watching this video then i th- I give you permission, full permission to reach out to me and chat, okay, if you need to chat. If you don't know me, introduce yourself to me first, and then we can get to know each other, and then we can chat, all right? So I I give you permission to do that. Um, The fourth thing is unhealthy eating. So if you're... If you are not a healthy eater generally, and if you... And if, yeah, eating healthy has never been your thing, I would highly suggest and highly recommend that now be the time to change that habit because the more unhealthy you're eating, especially when you are sedentary, like now you might be at home isolated or if you're not working, you may be getting out here and there from time to time, but you're probably not active as you as much as you have been up till now. And if you're eating health unhealthy foods, it's going to have an even more of an impact on your on your body and your immune system. So this is going to really negatively impact your immune system a lot. And this is with with that, it's going to have a more of a compound effect on the rest of the issues that I've spoken about before. All right. So if you're on your own, if you're a smoker, you know, uh, these kind of things, it's just going to have a negative impact on your body. All right. And if you're watching the media a lot. So bear that in mind. Eating healthy is imperative at this time, um, not just not just for keeping the COVID-19 at bay, but overall in general, you know, keep use this opportunity to start eating healthy. Go online and look for healthy meal plans or ideas for cooking healthy foods. Um, and if, if you don't have much healthy food at home, get out there now. Now's the opportunity. Just get out to those, those garden stores, get out to those grocery, the veg markets and things like that, and, and go do the shopping for your healthy foods. Because A, I know, and look, I know it's, not, it's more expensive than your McDonald's and your Burger Kings, your KFCs and whatever else, okay? I understand it's more expensive, but that food can last longer. So if you go out and you spend a little bit more on healthy foods, all right, you can stretch it out further, all right? Most people don't realize this, and it can be very tasty. It doesn't have to be bleh. It can be very tasty food as well on top of that, all right? So I've touched on four right now, and the last one, which... Um, I think <laughs> many people have kind of 
jumped on the bandwagon. You know, people, a certain, certain, uh, I don't know who started this idea, but the, the idea of alcohol that's going to be able to kill the COVID-19. Um, yeah, probably if you were drinking pure alcohol, <laughs> but then it might kill you as well. So, you know, a very, a very, very powerful impactor on our immune system is alcohol. Yeah, you know, I would love to have a beer right now or a glass of wine or a pilinka. I haven't had some alcohol for a while now. And, you know, some there are times when it's really cool. Yeah, but be moderate. Um, yeah, you know, just don't go over overboard with it. And don't think that, I don't know who, as I said, I don't know who, who opened up that can of worms and said that alcohol is going to kill COVID-19. Whoever that was, bless you. Because it's going to cause a lot of problems for your immune system. If you are drinking while you're in this environment, you're in a closed environment, you're in an isolated environment, you know, you're not um, out drinking in a social environment as such. So just be careful with that. It's going to impact your immune system. And if you have the symptoms already, but you don't, or if, not the symptoms, but if, if you have already started to, to um, have already been impacted by COVID-19, and we won't go into that now today about how that happens because i have my ideas about that um it's contrary to what most people are thinking right now and i've been because i've been watching and reading from other certain scientists and doctors and and, and so forth people that i trust that have uh, are talking on a different on the flip side of of how we are contracting this and what's causing COVID 19 but i won't get into that today all right so just keep it calm keep it moderate don't overdo things, all right? Please just try to stay as healthy as you possibly can. Do exercises at home. Um, if, if you're short of ideas of what activities you, would, you could do at home online, you, there's plenty of material if you want. I can share some stuff with you. Let me know. We can get into a Skype or Zoom call and we can do a workout together. I'm happy to do that with you once or twice and just get you going, get you moving, and uh, give you some ideas that you can work with. Okay, so I trust this worked. I trust this helped. And again, I'm going to say now, not if, but please share this information with as many people as you possibly can. So um, more people that are, are aware of alternative ideas or alternative ways of thinking, then the better for everybody because then you can make an educated decision for yourself as an adult um, or even as a teenager. If you're a teenager watching this, you know, speak to your parents and say, look, is this what this man's saying true or not? But, you know, they may not know, but it's just an op opportunity and an option for you to explore and to go forward to keep your immune system boosted a little bit more. I'm going to do another video on how to keep your immune system boosted and how to keep your immune system at a level where it's, you know, your body's going to be saying to the COVID-19, not today, chum, I'm I don't need you. We don't need you here. You can go somewhere else. Thank you very much. But, um, right now, just stay away from reducing your immune system and having, having your immune system depleted because of alcohol, because of unhealthy eating, because of boredom and being on your own, because of uh, smoking and cigarettes and nicotine and e-cigarettes and all that kind of stuff, and also because of watching the media too much. Just stay away from those five factors as often as you can, as much as you possibly can in these trying and testing times. As I said, I understand it's difficult, it's not easy. But if you can bear that in mind, those five factors, it will most definitely help keep your immune system, if not boosted, at a level that will keep you safe and healthy and away from the hospital. All right, take care, everybody. I love you all. Peace out and have a beautiful remainder to your day. Have an outstanding remainder to your week. And keep safe. See you on the other side. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, if you need any advice... Come to me, I'm here, okay? If you need some clarification on some of the stuff I've said, I am here. Be, don't be shy to ask. You can message me privately, all right? Um, or you can message me on this thread. That's perfectly fine. No matter what, um, what means you want to do it, just message me. And as again, again, share this message with as many people as you can. All right, take care. Bye-bye.